Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to show you a few reactions with chlorosulfonic acid, which you may also call chlorosulfuric acid, and that won't count as a mistake. This super acid is much weaker and cheaper than fluorosulfonic acid. In air this acid fumes, forming the midst of sulfuric acid and hydrogen chloride. If you heat this acid to a temperature above its boiling point, it will form a much more poisonous compound called sulfur trioxide. Just a tiny bit of chlorosulfonic acid is able to create a great amount of poisonous fume. Interacting with water, chlorosulfonic acid is hydrolyzed instantly and very violently, which results in the formation of sulfuric acid and hydrogen chloride. Also, during hydrolysis a massive heat emission occurs. I showed you a hydrolysis reaction filmed uh, with thermal camera in one of my previous videos. Therefore, if you pour this acid on ice, it will melt the ice quite intensively. Let's take a look at how an egg white will fold under the influence of various strong inorganic acids. Here I'm adding a few drops of hydrochloric acid. Then sulfuric acid. Then nitric acid. And to top it all, a few drops of chlorosulfonic acid. Take a look at the process of protein folding in slow mo. A spectacular reaction occurs when chlorosulfonic acid interacts with lithium aluminum hydride. It's very nice to look at, especially in slow mo. Surprisingly, potassium does not explode on contact with chlorosulfonic acid.
As for other active metals, such as magnesium, they react with pure chlorosulfonic acid quite poorly. However, adding just a little bit of water turns the reaction into a very violent one. The reaction with tin proceeds violently, resulting in the formation of tin tetrachloride, which is one of the liquids that emit the biggest amount of fume in air. Selenium dissolves in chlorosulfonic acid given a green solution, which after a few hours of heating turns yellow. The green color is due to the formation of a selenium-8 cation. The yellow color is due to the formation of the selenium-4 cation. Iodine dissolves slowly in chlorosulfuric acid to give a reddish-brown conducting solution. When a small amount of potassium nitrate was treated with chlorosulfuric acid, a large amount of nitrogen dioxide was produced, and chlorine gas was evolved. Sodium chloride dissolves in chlorosulfonic acid with formation of sodium chlorosulfonate and evolution of hydrogen chloride. It can be detected by the classic ammonia method, although it's quite difficult to distinguish the fume we are looking for under such conditions. Chlorosulfuric acid reacts violently with silver nitrate, giving silver chloride and nitroxychlorosulfonate. By the way, if you need to set filter paper on fire, you can use molten silver nitrate, it will do the job fairly quickly. Thanks for watching another episode of Chemical Force. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet, or hit the bell so you can be notified when I release my latest video. 
and special thanks to all the cool guys who support me on Patreon. See you in the next video.